Hey guys, got a chance to see the Maze Runner Scorch Trials this morning. Now, I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised by the first Maze Runner movie. I wasn't really expecting anything more than another YA post-apocalyptic something or other, but I was really impressed with Wes Ball's ability to keep everything really focused. Everything was from Thomas's perspective. We only knew what Thomas knew. We find out new things along with Thomas. It was actually a really impressive bit of filmmaking. Some of it was very effective. So with the Scorch Trials and all of the advertising saying, well, everything's just bigger this time around, uh, I found myself not really expecting much out of of this one either. But again, I was pleasantly surprised. All of the good things from the movie are back this time around. I thought all the performances were pretty solid. The action was moving really well. It was pretty good action. It wasn't the most original that I've ever seen, but it wasn't just a movie full of set pieces that I've already seen before. And again, Wes Ball kept the entire movie's focus on Thomas. The POV of the whole thing was from his perspective. Uh, which I, I hate to harp on that, but I feel like that's sort of a lost art. Because in a lot of movies, everything just gets real scattered and confused, and you're not sure who you're supposed to be dealing with at any particular time. But with this movie, we only know what Thomas knows, and we find out new things right along with it. However, there are a few points in the story where I think that, uh, that focus got stretched just a little too thin. And this is the point where maybe I should give a spoiler warning. To be honest, I'm not really sure how spoilers work, what the rules are in regards to movies that are sequels that are the second in a trilogy of movies that are based on books that were released a couple of years ago. I don't know. Is there some statute of limitation on spoilers? Anyway, here's my due diligence. If you want to come in super clean to this movie, maybe go away right now. Okay, done. The thing where we're just along for the ride with Thomas uh, goes a little bit too far a couple of times. So there's a part where one of the other characters, Teresa, she starts getting her memory back and she starts to, to tell Thomas some things about what's going on, stuff that would really illuminate their situation and probably help, and then they just kind of stop talking about it before she gets to any of the details. And it actually pulled me out of the movie because at that point it's like, no, 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 keep talking about this. This is actually going to help. And knowing what we know about Thomas, it doesn't make sense that he wouldn't keep pressing her for these details because he's trying to lead this group of people across the scorch. Like, he needs to know these things and he just kind of lets it drop. The other bit that I found a little frustrating is, is more thematic. Uh, now this whole series is about a, a disease and, and what I think are solar flares, I'm not entirely sure on that, that sort of wipe out most of humanity and there's this big scary company called Wicked who are rounding up these kids who are immune to the disease in order to engineer a cure for said disease. But they're doing it in a really shady way and that's what our heroes are fighting against. So this big scary company has good intentions but they're being very Machiavellian about the whole thing. The way that the movie treats it, it kind of feels like they're the bad guys because they're the big scary company and they're acting like a big scary company and that's that. But the opportunity that that misses is to explore the good intentions side of this big scary company. What if they're really trying to do something good? What if there are shades of good to the bad guys and shades of bad to the good guys? Now the frustrating part of this is in the fact that Thomas's journey is actually peppered with situations that could really highlight this theme. This idea that in order to help the greater good, sometimes maybe you have to do something bad. The idea is in there a little bit towards the end, but for the most part, the movie treats everything pretty black and white. So I think there's a missed opportunity in there to do some really interesting things thematically. Now, I don't need the big scary company to seem warm and fuzzy at times. I, I just, just consider the fact that there are good intentions behind these evil things that they're doing. And I think you got a much more interesting movie. On a technical level, I think it's pulled off very well. The action moves really well. Wes Ball is great at building and maintaining suspense. The whole movie was pretty tense. Basically, from start to finish, the movie's one long chase scene. They escape in the beginning, and they're running away from things for the entire movie right up until the end, including lightning. At one point, they actually run away from lightning, which is not as cheesy as it sounds. Having said it out loud now, it sounds pretty cheesy, but it worked for me. So, that's what I thought about Maze Runner and Scorch Trials. It's a good movie, it's worth a watch. It could have done some things that were a little more interesting, uh, but it didn't, and ultimately it doesn't bother me that much. It doesn't bother me enough to tell you to not go see it. If you're a fan of the books, obviously go see it. If you're a fan of the first movie, obviously go see it. It's a good second installment of a trilogy, I think. So, let me know what you thought about the movie, if you've seen it already. If you're gonna go see it, let me know about it in the comments down below. And hey, while you're down there, let me know what your favorite post-apocalyptic movie of all time is. Mine's not The Scorch Trials, uh, but I haven't thought about it since I asked you the question just a couple of seconds ago. So uh, maybe I'll get down there and chime in as well. 
Click like and subscribe. Stick around on Cinefix for the rest of our movie content. And I'll see you next time.